Sonny Hostin, a host at The View, who is black, or is she? She recently went on the show of Henry Louis Gates. He's a liberal Harvard professor of uh, uh, Obama beer summit fame. Remember, he got hassled by the police a little bit, and then Obama weighed in and attacked the police, and then they all had a beer together for some reason. Anyway, and I'm going too much into detail here. Sonny Hostin went on his show, because he has a show where he traces people's genealogy back, and she discovered <gasps> she's a descendant of slaveholders. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm in a little bit in shock. I, I just always thought of myself as Puerto Rican. You know, half Puerto Rican. <laughs> I didn't think I was, uh, my family was originally from Spain and slaveholders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So how are you feeling, my friend? Um, I just, um, I think it's actually pretty interesting that um, my husband and I have shared roots. Yeah. So I, I do appreciate that. Um, and I think it's great for our children mm -hmm. to know this information. Um, I guess it's a fact of life that uh, this is how some people made their living on the backs of others. Yeah, it's a fact of it's a fact of life, huh? It's really shocking. It's ooh, it's kind of depressing. Ooh, it's kind of uh oh. Then she goes on the View, and her View co-hosts say, "Hold on, Sonny, you've you've for so long been a promoter of reparations for slavery. Now that it turns out you're you're a descendant of slaveholders, does that change your view?" And I spoke to my mom about it. She was deeply disappointed. She actually cried about it. And then she said, maybe that's why I have been so connected to black culture, because it's an atonement in my spirit. Mm. And um, I, I received that. I also found out that, and there were slaves on both sides of her family, mothers and fathers. But we are 7% indigenous Puerto Rican, Taino. <laughs> So I'm proud of that. I still yeah, believe in reparations, like, by whoa. the way, so y'all can stop texting me and emailing me and saying that I'm a white girl and that I don't deserve reparations. <laughs> That's, I still believe uh, that. Someone did this, that too? Yeah. I don't know what? who sent her a thing telling her she was a white girl. Okay, it's, it's, it's too much, people. But Clean off your television screen. Yeah, it's, it's, that's a lot. So I, 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 I still believe in reparations. I still believe this country has a lot to do in terms of racial justice. I still believe in reparations, and I still believe that I deserve them, even though I am descended from slaveholders. Why does Sonny Hostin get to pick which ancestors count? Why does she get to do that, but we don't get to do that? She says, first of all, it's so pathetic. She says, Look, I'm still descended from slaves, so I still get my black card. And I'm, I'm also descended from Taino Indians. <gasps> I'm really happy about that. I'm so happy. I'd be so depressed if I were white because it's evil to be white because it's the worst thing you could possibly be. But um, I am part white and specifically like slaveholders. So, but we're just going to ignore that. And I still deserve reparations because the white ancestors don't count. Because white people are terrible and whites have no culture and even they, they have a culture which is evil and that's why we have to punish them. But even though I'm part white, I, you don't have to count that part. You only count the good part, which is the indigenous part and the black part. Give me my reparations. Only So does this work for all of us? Right now, go to goodranchers.com. Use code Knowles. February is the month of love, baby. And everyone loves bacon which means you are going to love, love, getting free bacon from Good Ranchers. When you subscribe to any of their 100% American meat boxes, they will add one and a half pounds of applewood smoked bacon to your order for free for a year. Good Ranchers sources all of their meat from local farms and ranches in the U.S., meaning you can trust every bite. But it's not just about taste. It's about the experiences and memories associated with it. Whether it's the mouth-watering smell through the kitchen on a Sunday evening or the joy of sharing a plate of bacon-wrapped appetizers with friends, Good Ranchers has a way of creating moments that linger in people's hearts and taste buds. When I was a kid, having steak was a big special treat, and we'd go down to the butcher, and it wasn't the sort of thing you do all the time. I don't know how Good Ranchers does it, but they have the absolute top quality meat and chicken and all the rest of it at prices that are unbelievably reasonable, and they ship it to your door, and it's the greatest secret in meat. Get it right now. Fall in love with beef, chicken, seafood, especially bacon, all over again. Subscribe. Use code Knowles, Canada WLAS, to claim 240 bucks in free bacon. This offer is not available on their site. It's an exclusive offer to our listeners. GoodRanchers.com, code Knowles for the best bacon in the USA. GoodRanchers.com, American meat, delivered. I, despite my swarthy complexion, 
I am, as long as you count Sicilians and Italians as white, which is, uh, I, I suppose, somewhat controversial, then I'm, I'm totally white. Completely not, not one drop of, uh, you know, exotic ancestry in me. Uh, just the lowest we go is Sicily, sometimes called North Africa. So, you know, maybe, there, but then all the way up to Scotland. That's, that's pretty much where my ancestry is. So by Sonny Hostin's standards, I guess I'm totally evil. I need, to, I need to totally contribute to reparations. I don't get any reparations out of it. Even though the largest mass lynching in American history, by the way, took place against Italians, which that's also written out of our history, but I'll leave the racial grievance to other people. One of my ancestors, George, I guess he's slightly, because he died, he's slightly, he's like a great, 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 great uncle, George Cobb Knowles. He fought for the Union in the Civil War. He died at the Battle of Boynton Plank Road. So am I absolved? Do I have to pay the reparations to Sonny Hostin? Who's the dis- I don't have any slaveholders in my ancestry. Sonny Hostin does. So shouldn't she be chipping into the reparations? Why do, why do I have to chip in? I, I have relatives who died in the Civil War for the cause of abolition. She didn't. Does she, right? She's, oh, she got people who were defending slavery. Why do, how come she gets to pick which ancestors count and she's totally absolved of any historical guilt, but I don't. I, who actually don't seem to have a ton of historical baggage by the modern standards, how come I, just by being a white guy, even a vaguely white guy, I'm pretty tan, I, how does any of this make any sense? It doesn't, obviously. They're just sort of making it up as they go along. Sonny Hostin went into that Henry Louis Gates episode with the conclusion, which is, I am victim, I deserve your money, I deserve your pity. White people evil. Don't call me white person. How dare you? She'll go on The View later. She said, don't you dare. Stop calling me white. It's like calling someone evil. It's like calling someone a Nazi. It's like calling, it's just, it's the worst thing you could be called. She went in with that conclusion. And then Henry Louis Gates says, hey, so the facts are you're a descendant of the people that you consider the most evil people in the world. She says, nah, la, 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 doesn't matter. I'm 7% Taino. I'm good. I'm fine. La, 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 la. The, the, the folly of it all, though, of course, is that one, if you trace your ancestry back even one generation, uh, you'll find plenty of evil things because the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. You don't even have to trace your ancestry back. You can just look at yourself and you've committed all sorts of evil things. And if you go, if you believe as Christians do in human solidarity, if you think that we all came from a, a single set of ancestors who we call Adam and Eve, then you believe that we all share in the fallenness of human nature, uh, undertaken by an abuse of the free will of our first parents. But that's fallen, that, that, that view is now called superstitious and crazy and ridiculous. So instead we end up with the, the justifications of, of Sonny Hostin, which seem a little crazier and more ridiculous if you ask me. That was a good clip, huh? Come on, come on. Just between us girls, you know, well, then you got to ring the bell and subscribe to the Michael Knowles YouTube channel and then you'll get every other clip ever. See you next time.